Southern Cooking, where we feature Missouri Southern's brightest and finest. On today's show, we have local celebrity and former MSSU student, Gary Stubblefield. Now, not only has he danced with the stars, but he's also cooked with them. And today, we'll be making pan-fried stuffed burgers. But he claims he can't even boil water, so we have a surprise guest to help him. And then later, I'll show you how to recreate this dish in a dorm-approved cooking appliance. So come on, let's get started. Welcome to Homestyle Southern Cooking. Today I'm joined with guest Gary Stubblefield. Now he's got a lot of titles that I could throw at you, but honestly the best title I could say is local celebrity. Wow. <laughs> Welcome Gary. <laughs> Thank you. What do you think about being called a local I'm celebrity? I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> well you are. Okay. Okay, we'll get to all the reasons. Oh my, okay. First though, we'll start with when did you attend Missouri Southern State University? It was a long time ago. It was a college then, mm -hmm. um, about 35 years ago. So we're talking the 80s. It was a good time. <laughs> I, think I, I bet had, it was. I think I had purple hair back then. And parachute pants. And the uh, checked vans. Nice. Yeah, I think I still yeah, have a pair of checked yeah, vans. Yeah. We're aging ourselves. Yeah, we are. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm curious, how has Missouri Southern changed since you went here? Well, it was a great college then, but I mean, it's phenomenal now as a university, mm -hmm. the focus on international, the, um, the dorms. Well, how did you work from sales into this great position that you have now, being kind of a leader of your community as an executive of the Carl Junction Chamber of Commerce? Well, I think everything we do is sales, so probably um, getting involved. I, when I was originally uh, sent to Carl Junction, it was to manage the senior center, mm -hmm. and I joined the local chamber, and through volunteering, that led to being uh, elected president, and from there, uh, it evolved into a job as the director. You have such an impressive resume. You're the Carl Junction Area Chamber of Commerce Executive Director. You're the executive, executive Director of Carl Junction Cares. That's a breast cancer group. I love that. Yeah. And I see from that on, you work for Lafayette House's Board of Directors and the Carver Birthplace Association, the Joplin Nala Board of Directors. Everything on here, on your resume, is about caring and giving back. To me, that is so beautiful. How did you get involved in being such a caregiver to your community? Well, I think I think we all do it, you know. Uh, I might be a little overcommitted on how many boards I'm on, <laughs> but it's hard to say no when it's a worthy organization. Yeah. And uh, life's too short to not get involved, and you can't just take, you have to give back, and so that, that gets you on a lot of boards. <laughs> well, I tell you, not everybody thinks that way, and I think that's one of the things that makes you so great at what you do and about how you care so deeply. Now, one of the things that interests me so much about you, and I just, because you know I love cooking, obviously, mm -hmm. with my cooking show, and I want to be on the Food Network one day. It's my dream. And so when I found out that you were at the Lafayette House with Paula Dean, I was so jealous that we weren't already best friends and you didn't <laughs> invite me, you know? So tell me about that day. Tell me about hanging out with her at the, at the Lafayette House. You know, uh, well, first of all, I want to just say that Lafayette House is a great resource, local resource uh, for women in need. Yes. They can also get there with their kids and be safe. And so it's an honor to serve on their board. Yes. Um, for the second year in a row, Paula Dean had done a fundraiser here in town and it benefited Lafayette House. And so I got the, the opportunity to meet her. She's uh, she's a great gal. Is she? Yeah. Very down to earth, yeah. I imagine. Great personality. So you have this history, or like it would look like that you're a great cook. You would think. Because you have cooked with Paula Dean, but you didn't, did you? I didn't. I stood nearby with a chef's hat. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't really cook. And, and that's what I found out after I asked yes. you on a show. I found out that you don't really even boil water. Not well. Not well. No. no. <laughs> so this, it may, it's going to make for an interesting show for us. We're going to have a good time with least. that. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, funny things that you find out about people. Sure. He does not cook. So uh, how did you get involved with the drop on Dancing with the Stars and the whole cooking thing. Like, this cooking theme has been for you. Did you just fall into it? 
well, to not cook and constantly getting on cooking shows like this one is kind of <laughs> ironic. It is ironic. Uh, there's a woman here in town, Cheryl Finley, yeah. one of the best area cooks that there is. Okay. Um, she had been in the very first years Dancing with the Stars, and they were going to bring it back, and they asked everyone who had been in previous years to get a professional dance partner, keyword professional, to join them for the last year okay. and instead a mutual friend Carol Stark uh -huh. with the Globe Cooking with Carol. suggested that it might be really funny if uh, Cheryl and I danced together and it was funny. It was wonderful. I was it there. It was horrible to watch. No, I was there. I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> I dance as well as I cook. Well, that's what we're going to yeah. find out because we're going to head to the kitchen next. Okay. okay. Okay, so now let's see if we can help Gary learn how to make his go to favorite food, cheeseburgers. Mm. So join us next in the kitchen while we are joined by a special guest that we'll call his training wheels. And we'll learn oh how to make stuffed cheeseburgers next on Homestyle Southern Cooking. The marketplace at Joplin Greenhouse is the best place in town for organic produce. The Marketplace houses Joplin's only organic coffee bar, featuring fresh local coffee beans. They have a wide variety of organic and gluten-free items, as well as local products including milk, eggs, chocolate, and fresh meats. So go visit the friendly and helpful staff at 2820 East 32nd Street in Joplin, in the Food for Less parking lot. The Missouri Southern State University Bookstore is your place to find all things MoSo. We have a wide selection of Missouri Southern apparel and gear to choose from, so you'll have no problem showing your lion pride. Our bookstore is also the place to find books and other supplies required for class. So whether you need apparel, books, or just a snack, come out to the Missouri Southern Bookstore located in the Billingsley Student Center on the campus of Missouri Southern State University. At Missouri Southern, we believe achieving a university education should be possible for everyone. That is why we are working hard to make earning a university education accessible and always an excellent value. As a graduate of Missouri Southern, you should expect to reach your career goals. Take a look at our graduates in health sciences, teacher education, business, or biology. Their success can be yours. Come check out Missouri Southern, apply for admission, and see where your academic career can take you. We are having way too much fun here. <laughs> Our guest today is Gary Stubblefield, who turns out can't cook very well. <laughs> so we've all. invited, not at all, he says, we've invited Cheryl Finley here, who's actually the crock pot queen, even though I'm called it, she <laughs> is it. And she's going to be his training wheels to make stuffed burgers, which actually turns out cheeseburgers are Gary Stubblefield's favorite food. Absolutely. So what we're going to do is we've got our ball of burger. It's very simple. I didn't really season these up because we're going to season them with our stuffing. So we've got a nice little ball patty here where normally if you were making a regular burger, you would just press it and cook it. Press and cook. But we're not going to do that. We're going to make a nice little cup in our burger. Now, the smaller the cup, the less stuff you can hold. So you want to try to make a nice deep cup. It'll cook faster if you thin it out that way, and it will hold more stuff. So we're going to make three different kind of burgers today. Our first one is going to be a blue cheese buffalo burger, which is Yum. amazing, right? Yeah. You like that? Yeah. You don't like blue cheese. Is this blue cheese? Yeah, I'm not going to. You're not okay. going to. That yeah. gonna be, <laughs> that's going to be her burger. Yes. <laughs> so will you hand me the blue cheese? Absolutely. Perfect. So it's very simple. This one, you're just going to take quite a bit of the blue cheese and stuff it in there. Now, it goes in very easy, and now I've made a nice flat top that I am going to put over there and press together. The better I press, the less my stuffing will come out. So, do you want to get this one started? Absolutely. All right. Well, go ahead. Sizzle, sizzle. Get it a little warmer. Yeah, there we go. And while, while that's getting hot, we're going to stuff our other burger. Now, the next burger we're going to do is going to be kind of a, like a play on a mushroom and Swiss burger. So, we have some portobello mushrooms chopped down pretty fine. We're going to put them in there in our little stuff that we've already made. We're going to add a few onions because that's just such a wonderful burger. And now when we're done, we're going to put, in theory, Swiss cheese on top of this. Mm. So we're going to, again, just like the other burger, we're going to pitch it together so nothing falls out. And now we have a beautiful stuffed Swiss 
soon to be Swiss mushroom and onion burger. You ready? Ready. All right, now our third burger is gonna be Gary's favorite. It is the All-American Burger. So we're gonna add bacon. 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 Mm, bacon. Anything's good with bacon, Everything's right? Everything's good with this bacon. This is man candy. <laughs> bacon. bacon is a separate food group. Yes. <laughs> it is the food group. I have been putting bacon on, on ice cream lately, wow. and it is really good. I saw it on and Pinterest, and I was like, what? And I tried it, and like, yes. Mm. Bacon works on everything. So we're gonna stuff that pretty full for Gary, because he likes that. Do you like onions? Yeah. Just a few? Sure. Just a few. All right, we'll just put a few in there. He might have to talk to people today. You know he is a businessman. <laughs> so we won't give him too many of those. And now we're going to stuff this one, just like the last. We're going to put our little thin flap of meat on top, and we're going to pinch our edges so we have a really nice burger that will stay together and not seep out our stuff. We'll put that on there. Perfect. Now these shouldn't take very long to cook, a few minutes, mm -hmm. five, ten at the most. Well, I'm going to okay. top it a little bit with blue cheese, but its topping is going to be more like a buffalo sauce, which we should start getting started on. Why don't you hand me the <laughs> buffalo sauce, the sriracha, yeah. oh, and the mayonnaise? Okay, I know what all three of those are. Oh, good, good. I, I, that's funny that he knows that, yeah. So, <laughs> I looked in advance. <laughs> he looked. That's excellent. So it's a really kind of like a, you know, just... I it. I'm, I'm a you know original cook. I don't do a lot of measuring, but I definitely do a lot of eyeing. So I've got my red hot wings buffalo sauce mm. and my mayonnaise and my sriracha. Now I'm going to put these together, and they're going to make a beautiful blend of not too spicy, but yet perfect for a burger, kind of like a mayonnaise mm -hmm. topping. So that's why we stuffed oh. that burger with the cheese. Okay. It doesn't really fit well with the on top. Okay. But now the next ones, we don't want those to the. Swiss, which is a very uh, soft cheese, as well as the cheddar. We don't want them to run out. Okay. So we want to keep everything contained. So I am going to make some toppings, though, to go with that. Would you hand me the, um, that one right there? It's a mayonnaise with okay. horseradish sauce. Oh. And then I've got Dijon. And so this is going to go oh. on our, um, our Swiss burger. It's just a nice little flavor. So we've got this. Mayo with Dijon in it, with Dijon and horseradish. Not everybody likes horseradish, but I do. And so we're going to get a little bit of this mayo. It doesn't matter because it's... We're going to go this end because we are really good at making anything work. There you go. You're like MacGyver. That's right. I'm Mommy Giver. I got kids. <laughs> <laughs> make do. We do. We make do. So I'll just use that in right there and I'll stir it since it's already right. dirty. And now this is going to be a perfect topping for our Swiss and mushroom and onion burger. These are looking really good. Let's I go ahead and about... plate this blue cheese one. You want to put that right here for me? Sure. Awesome. So we've got that on here. I'm going to put a little bit more for, I think, Carol. I think Cheryl, I called you Carol. That's okay, I'll I answer. Cheryl. I'll eat it. <laughs> likes it spicy. I feel that about her. Some like it hot. So this is her spicy burger. I think this is the bacon one, I'm not sure. Okay, so the bacon one can go right here. I have a 50-50 chance. And That's right. That's good <laughs> stuff. So that will be yours, which we're going to put a little bit more mayonnaise on there for you. If I did walk over to that refrigerator, I could get lettuce and ketchup, but I'm just not leaving my spot. Well, if I make a sad face, it means I bit into mushroom and not bacon. That, uh -oh. Yeah, oh, you just hand it right to me if that <laughs> happens, okay? Hand it right off. Are we ready? Yes, ma'am. These are going to be perfect. Mm -hmm. Yes. Nice. Perfect, yeah. perfect, perfect. So here is, hopefully, your mushroom burger, sir. Okay. Here is your <laughs> Thank buffalo you. burger. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. And here is my, no, here, that's hopefully your American burger. Okay. This is hopefully uh, my mushroom burger. Cheers. 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 <laughs> Very good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm. Mm. <laughs> I like this show. Mm, I do too, right? Mm. We eat a lot on this mm. show. So the key here is cook it in a hot pan. Cook it a little slower, maybe after you get your, your burger in there and it's searing. Maybe turn your heat down a little bit. Because these could have been cooked a little bit more through, but I mm -hmm. like a rare burger, so it works for me. We're good. But that is mm -hmm. a great tip. Hot pan, turn it down as you're cooking, and then you're going to have these great stuffed burgers. So join us next as I show you how to make a crock pot version of cheeseburgers and then sliders on the waffle iron. Next on Homestyle Southern Cooking. You stand beside me each Saturday, wrapped up against the crisp fall chill and driving rain. 
scarf around your neck to protect your clean-shaven face. Muttering underneath your breath and cursing at the refs, you always keep a folded program in your back pocket. They say you've been coming here for years, that you were the original fan. You remember seeing Rod Smith run and even saw the championship in 72. You are the murmur of the crowd and the waves of applause dancing along the field. You are the roar of the score and the shh before. You are the disappointed sigh and the laughter among the children. You often smile as you head for the exits with the drum still pounding in your ears. I doubt I'll ever know your name, but they say you are a linebacker. Catch complete coverage of Joplin City Council meetings only on KGCS TV, Channel 22, keeping the citizens of the Joplin, Missouri area informed and in the know for the past 30 years. Live at 6 p.m., first and third Mondays of each month. Rebroadcast on the first and third Tuesdays of each month. Catch Joplin City Council only on KGCS TV, Channel 22. Homestyle Southern Cooking. We're in the kitchen and I'm going to show you how to make a crock pot version of a cheeseburger. It's kind of like a man witch, but more like a burger witch, so that's going to be fun. We're going to put that on a pretzel roll, but first I'd like to show you how to make mini sliders in your waffle iron. This is a very easy, fun recipe. There's anything you can do in the waffle iron. You can make waffles, of course, brownies, fish, and burgers. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to season up my meat here. You don't need to season it too much, but I like to put like some gourmet burger stuff in it and a little bit of French onion soup mix, some dry mix. I like to put that in there because it gives a good flavor. And you don't have to put too much on your burger when you add these nice different spices. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, make little bitty like meatball sized rounds. They're going to fit in the ball of my hand like that and they're going to make really great thin sliders. So I'm going to make three of those real quick. I could make four. Four would fit on my waffle iron, but I like the number three. So we're going to stick with that. We're going to get them all together and put them on the waffle iron at the same time so they cook pretty much at the same rate. That's important. So got these cute little balls. We're going to put them on here. Ooh, listen to that sizzle. I like it. So we have them in our little angles here. We're going to close this down and press it. Now while that's pressing and cooking, I'm going to go over here and show you how to make a crock pot version of your cheeseburger. And like, like I said, this one's a little bit different because it's kind of like a man which, so you want to have everything, you want to have your, your meat ground. So you would essentially, to ground beef in a crock pot, which is the first step, you would put your meat in there. A pound of meat calls for one fourth cup of water. And you're going to put those in there together and you're going to let that cook about four to five hours. Now that's going to ground your meat perfectly. When you're done grounding your meat, you're going to drain it. So then you have nice ground beef you're going to put back into your pot after it's drained. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some Velveeta cheese. because That's going to make it really creamy. But I'm also going to add some yummy cheddar cheese because I like you know, multiple cheeses. I like a lot of flavors in my food. So I've got that in there. Now I'm going to add some onions because I like them. You can add some onions. You cannot add some onions. You can add way more than me if you want. I'm going to add a little mushrooms because I like that. You don't have to do that. But I'm definitely going to add some bacon because bacon makes everything great. So now I'm going to add two tablespoons to three tablespoons of milk. This is going to give me a nice consistency to have my cheese melt down in there and that's really all you do. So you're going to mix this up and then we're going to put our lid on. We're going to cook this four hours on low. You might not even need to cook it that long. It cooks pretty fast especially because you've already cooked your ground beef. So while that is going, I don't think our burgers are done quite yet. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what this is going to look like on a nice pretzel bun. We've got this beautiful ground beef mixture here. And it's going to taste great. If you've ever had like a, a White Castle burger, it's very reminiscent of that flavor, except I put it on this great 
pretzel bun. And if you want to garnish it, you can put a little lettuce on it. You can put mustard or ketchup. You can garnish it however you want. It's a very beautiful burger and it's very easy. But if you want something quick and yummy, you're going to come back over here to your waffle iron. And we should be about done. Now, the longer you go, of course, the more done your meat's going to be. Some people like well done burgers. I like my medium rare. So I'm going to go ahead and check mine now. They're looking so pretty. So, so pretty. So I'm going to pull them off of here and put them on my little slider buns. Oops, let's get all these buns opened real quick. Make it easier on me. So, see how fast that was? It was just so easy to do. So now we've got that going. I'm going to unplug my waffle iron real quick. I'm going to pull these back over here and I'm going to show you the joy of making waffle iron burgers. See, they have these little divots in them. So I'm going to use these little divots to fill up. I'm going to put a little bacon in one, put a little onion, a little mushroom, and then I'm going to coat it with cheese that I didn't just all put in there. So you would put your cheese on top and now you basically have a stuffed burger, beautiful stuffed burger. And so that's how easy it is. Crock pot cheeseburger or a waffle iron cheeseburger, you can do it in your dorm room. So thanks for joining us on Homestyle Southern Cooking. And after this, we'll be in the dining room with Tawny, and we're going to try this wonderful food. The Missouri Southern State University Bookstore is your place to find all things MOSO. We have a wide selection of Missouri Southern apparel and gear to choose from, so you'll have no problem showing your lion pride. Our bookstore is also the place to find books and other supplies required for class. So whether you need apparel, books, or just a snack, come out to the Missouri Southern Bookstore located in the Billingsley Student Center on the campus of Missouri Southern State University. Catch complete coverage of Joplin City Council meetings only on KGCS-TV Channel 22, keeping the citizens of the Joplin, Missouri area informed and in the know for the past 30 years. Live at 6 p.m., first and third Mondays of each month, Rebroadcast on the first and third Tuesdays of each month. Catch Joplin City Council only on KGCS TV, Channel 22. So, what are we making today, Terry? Well, I was going to make a salad, but my tomatoes are all bad. Oh no, I see it. Do you want to just toss them out? Oh no, oh no. We don't throw anything away. We'll just cut these nasty parts off and we will make some rotel. Oh, okay. So how do we do that? Well, we're just going to cut these pieces of tomato in here and we'll really just turn the oven on and we'll cook them down. So we'll add some peppers in here too. I like some Anaheim peppers. Okay. And if we just put a little bit of water in here and you smash them down like potatoes. Okay. We're going to have Rotel in about an hour and it's going to come out looking just like this. Oh, how neat is that? You're so crafty, Terry. Thank you. <laughs> so why waste when you can make it taste great? The Marketplace at Joplin Greenhouse is the best place in town for organic produce. The Marketplace houses Joplin's only organic coffee bar, featuring fresh local coffee beans. They have a wide variety of organic and gluten-free items as well as local products including milk, eggs, chocolate, and fresh meats. So go visit the Friendly and Helpful staff at 2820 East 32nd Street in Joplin in the Food for Less parking lot. At Missouri Southern, we believe achieving a university education should be possible for everyone. That is why we are working hard to make earning a university education accessible and always an excellent value. As a graduate of Missouri Southern, you should expect to reach your career goals. Take a look at our graduates in health sciences, teacher education, business or biology. Their success can be yours. Come check out Missouri Southern, apply for admission and see where your academic career can take you. Promotional consideration has been provided by Pearl Brothers True Value, proud sponsor of Missouri Southern State University. Welcome back to Homestyle Southern Cooking. We're in the 
Dining Room. I'm joined with Tawny Lyon, my producer. Hey, girl. How are you? I'm good. How did you enjoy cooking with uh, Gary and Cheryl? I loved it. Yeah? I love surprising Gary with Cheryl. I know. He had no clue, too. I, it was off camera when they saw each other, but they did this little dance. And I, I was know. like, they were laughing. It was hilarious. That was cute, too. And I remember being there with you at the Dancing with the Stars in Joplin. And it, it was so much fun. It was. And they looked like they had a blast, too. They did. So I hear, though, well, Bertie told me you want to dance on Joplin Dancing with the Stars, too. I do. It looks like <laughs> after seeing it um, back then in the spring, it looked like so much fun. So have us on the show, guys. Right? We want to dance with the stars. <laughs> <laughs> and he was so nice, too. He, he was, was so nice. He's he doing so much. Yeah. He's like <laughs> the man around town. Mm -hmm, he you is. would never know. <laughs> and so it was his idea to make these burgers, am I correct? Right, because it's his favorite food. Mm -hmm. He just didn't know how to cook them. <laughs> <laughs> he does now, though. He said he still will never. <laughs> you Cheryl, can't force somebody to cook. There you go. Cheryl will have to cook them for him. Yeah. <laughs> so I was really impressed with the crock pot version of the cheeseburger, mm -hmm. the Burger Witch. Right. And But of course, I love the mini sliders. They come mm -hmm. out so great. I really like putting the Burger Witch on the pretzel bun, though. Yeah, it looks good. I want to try it. Mm -hmm. I was so surprised. It's mm. so good. That is really good. The flavors mix very well together. It is, yeah. And you know... That's such a simple thing to make and then just throw the pretzel buns. I would have never thought to put pretzel buns on it. It gives it a little different quality. Yeah, I agree. And it cooks so fast and so easy. Like, I got home and I made another batch for my family. Mm -hmm. It cooked in like two hours on high. It was so fast. Really? Mm -hmm. So you could have like gotten other stuff done and then before you know it, dinner was ready. That's right. So, but now I'm going to try the slider. Okay, and this is the bacon stuffed one, right? Mm -hmm. With the portobellos and the, st and the onions. Mmm. That's delicious. I love the way that waffle iron sears it. Mm -hmm. It gives it that really good flavor. Like it's I been grilled. I would have never thought to use a waffle iron. <laughs> You're just so crafty. Well, I use what I have. I hear a lot of people can do that with a George Foreman, but you can't make waffles or brownies in a George Foreman. You make brownies? Mm, oh, yeah, that's coming. Oh, my goodness. I can't wait. Yeah, these are just so good. I agree. I, you're just so impressive with your <laughs> cooking. You amaze me every single week. Oh, you amaze me every single week. I love you. <laughs> We're now taking entries for our Facebook contest. Post a message on our page with the phrase of the week you see at the bottom of the screen, and you can become a finalist for our giveaway at the end of the semester. You can also check out our Facebook page for contest rules at Homestyle Southern Cooking. And I'd like to thank my sponsors, Marketplace at Joplin Greenhouse and Pearl Brothers. Thank you for all that you do for us. And I'd like to thank today's guest, Gary Stubblefield and Cheryl Finley. It was so amazing to have you here. I had the best time with you, and I'd love to thank my crew. I could not do this without you guys. Literally could not do this without you, honey. <laughs> we love you. I love you, too, yeah. and I love all my crew. Thank you so much for joining us on Homestyle Southern Cooking. See you next week.